Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Chino Lee. I am an ENT or an otolaryngologist. Today I'm going to be delving into a topic that might seem a bit daunting at first, but it's incredibly important in healthcare called the awake tracheostomy. Now, whether you're a healthcare professional or someone just curious about medical procedures, this video is more to aim just some light on what a awake tracheostomy entails uh, with the background of me performing a awake tracheostomy. And I do apologize for the shaking inside of the video since the camera is on my head. First things first, what exactly is a tracheostomy? It's a surgical procedure where we put a small opening uh, in front of the neck called the stoma, and that allows us to get have direct access to the trachea or the windpipe. Now, you might be wondering why would someone need a tracheostomy? And there's various reasons such as severe respiratory issues, trauma to the airway, or prolonged need for me mechanical ventilation. And in some case, you have to do an awake tracheostomy. So for this gentleman here, he had a big head and neck cancer in his voice box or his larynx, which prevent him from being intubated, meaning the normal way of putting a tube in through uh, the mouth into the trachea. So we have to do this while he's sedated by anesthesia so that we can do the surgery and safely bypass the cancer and give him a way to breathe. So what exactly sets awake tracheostomy apart? As the name suggests, it's performed while the patient is awake and conscious. And I know that sounds intimidating, but it offers several benefits. When we do awake tracheostomy, we perform local anesthesia to numb up that area so the patient remains comfortable throughout the whole procedure. In addition, the patient is able to spontaneously breathe during the procedure, which can aid in maintaining oxygen levels and reduce complications. Now, it's important to note that an awake tracheostomy is usually performed by a skilled team of healthcare professionals, including surgeons such as ENTs or general surgery, anesthesiologists, and critical care specialists. This multidisciplinary approach ensures that the procedure is carried out safely and effectively. Sometimes this can be performed in the emergency room if it's a really urgent, timely manner that we need to get done, or it can be done in the operating room when we have a little bit more time to do the procedure. And this is one of the crucial parts of the surgery is where we actually enter the trachea. You can actually see the rings of the tracheal wall there, and we use a blade to enter the airway. And for this case, we're actually going to take out part of the trachea itself because this gentleman will likely need a tracheostomy uh, for a very long time. And we will take this ring out so that we can put in the trach itself. Um, so we're removing a little bit of cartilage from the tracheal ring at this time. So we'll just snip that off here. And then we'll be asking our surgical tech in the operating room to give us a tracheostomy. And this one here has a balloon on it, which lets us give positive pressure or put them on a me mechanical ventilation. And we like to put a tracheostomy with a cuff or that balloon on there for the first couple of days after surgery because there could be a little bit of oozing uh, while the trach heals. And then we're going to inflate that balloon with a little syringe of air in there, and then we'll tie it up. This gentleman did extremely well after the tracheostomy. Right when we put in the tube, we actually put the patient fully to sleep so they aren't uncomfortable anymore. And then we'll take him to the ICU so that we can kind of plan his rest of his care at the hospital. In conclusion, while the idea of an awake tracheostomy may be intimidating. It is a valuable procedure that can significantly improve the patient outcomes in certain situations. By providing direct access to the airway, we can minimize risk associated with general anesthesia and it plays a crucial role in respiratory care. Please let me know if you have any questions about awake tracheostomies or tracheostomies in general or any other topics in ENT. And thanks for watching.